How's it going? It's Joe from Ternary Data. I want to talk to you quickly about a new announcement at yesterday's AWS reInvent. They announced AWS SageMaker Data Wrangler. Now, this is really cool if you have ever built uh, machine learning uh, feature engineering pipelines. Data Wrangler solves a lot of common issues um, with setting up those types of pipelines and workflows. So let's check it out real quick. So here we have Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler. Uh, it advertises itself as the fastest and easiest way to prepare data for machine learning. And as you can see, it's a very complete tool set. Uh, you can prepare data quite quickly. Uh, it allows you to import data um, from a variety of sources, which we'll get into in a bit. Uh, you can transform your data and then you can visualize your data. And on top of that, you can export your data to uh, your um, machine learning pipeline. So this is a very cool tool set. I, I think it's something that a lot of people have wanted for a long time, uh, especially from the clouds. So it's very cool that Amazon has, uh, has provided this, especially um, immediately at reInvent. So let's dig into it and check it out some more. So we have SageMaker Studio open. And I've already gone ahead and created a uh, workflow for um, Data Wrangler. You can also go into New and then just create a flow here, and you can uh, create a new Data Wrangler flow that way. It does have a uh, file extension called dot .flow, so just keep that in mind when you create Data Wrangler flows. Um, they'll, be, they'll have their own naming convention. So anyway, so this is pretty cool. You can import data from uh, S3. Athena, and it also gives you the capability of importing from Redshift. I've gone ahead and actually created a data set just using the uh, uh, kind of cliched, old school Titanic data set here. Um, but for our purposes, it'll work just fine. So again, you just point it at your S3 bucket, import the file, and then you have the ability to uh, perform a number of operations on the data. You can edit your data types here. So uh, this just gives you the ability to uh, again, just change types, right? So, you know, numerical types, booleans, dates, etc., strings. Um, you know, this is really handy when a lot of your data may come in in different formats. I've seen a lot of data formats just coming in as pure strings. So this certainly helps uh, in that regard. You can also uh, add transformations. This is pretty dang cool. So, you know, in a lot of machine learning workflows, you're going to get rid of uh, IDs, for example, right? So... Uh, in this case here, you can maybe manage this column. Uh, I can drop this uh, passenger ID column. Let's preview what that looks like. Cool. Um, you know, name may not be important as well. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You, know, you can convert these uh, however you want. Um, say you also want to uh, encode gender, right, into something besides a string. So in this case, we're just going to uh, change the gender. Um, uh, into, uh, you know, in this case, just uh, zeros and ones. So, yeah, uh, Data Wrangler, I think it, it provides just a really quick way to do all the feature engineering that you need to do uh, with, um, you know, data that you're preparing for machine learning. Uh, on top of that, you can also analyze your data. So you could provide, um, you know, uh, different types of, you um, Charts, for example, you, know, you can maybe see uh, histograms by age. So this allows you to dive into your data and, and really get a good analysis of, of the composition of your data before you uh, use it for machine learning workflows. And on top of that, then you can just export your data um, and transformations to um, you know, your machine learning pipeline. So I think that Data Wrangler represents a, um, a welcome shift in data pipelining tools for machine learning. This is... Uh, you know, in my experience, machine learning is really difficult because of the data wrangling piece. Um, and so this tools like this greatly simplify it. And especially if you can just deploy your data um, into your machine learning pipeline, I think this is a, it's a killer application. Now, you may be asking, isn't this just Databrew? Well... Not really. So Databrew was a product that AWS had announced a few weeks ago, and it's more of a data preparation tool, sort of like Trifecta. It allows you to basically munge data um, for consumption, things like data warehouses or data lakes. Data Wrangler is more built for true machine learning applications, uh, feature engineering, 
can be done in something like data brew but again integration with data pipelines uh, for machine learning i think is the um the main killer feature for data wrangler my final thoughts on aws data wrangler it's a tool that I wish I had many years ago when I was hand coding feature engineering pipelines. Um, it's awesome that it integrates into SageMaker Studio so easily. And I think it's a tool that anybody using SageMaker Studio should dive into and check out. Um, I, you know, I don't know of any comparable tool in the other uh, two big clouds that would be Azure and uh, Google Cloud. Um, I think Azure offers maybe feature engineering for AutoML, but uh, nothing as I would say straightforward or GUI like as this that I'm aware of and in GCP, which I'm more familiar with and then use a lot. Um, the closest thing would be Trifacta, but that doesn't necessarily integrate uh, directly into a machine learning pipelines. So AWS has hit it out of the park with this. I'm excited. I think it makes SageMaker Studio a much more complete machine learning platform. And I hope you have a chance to dig into it. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Take care.